Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing. I'm going to show you, I want to start talking about some alternative products to cleaning leather, to cleaning fabric. Um, I've been using something for many, many, many years and I want to share it with you. I'm not sure a lot of people know about it. I know some professional detailers do for sure. But, you know, as professional detailers, we talk about leather cleaning, we talk about plastic cleaning, vinyl cleaning, carpet cleaning. We're always talking about using an alkaline-based cleaner, like Super Clean or Meguiar Super Degreaser or Meguiar's All-Purpose Cleaner. One of the reasons why, as professional detailers, we love alkaline-based cleaners is because they're so versatile, they can be used inside the vehicle and outside the vehicle. They're dilutable. We usually buy them by the gallon, like super clean by the gallon. Well, I want to start talking about some products that are extremely effective, just as effective as some of these strong alkaline base cleaners that are incredibly effective as professional detailers to have one product to kind of do everything around the car and outside the car, however you want to look at it. I want to talk about a leather cleaner, a fabric cleaner, um, that I've been using for years. It's incredibly cheap, incredibly effective. In fact, there's some manufacturers out there, automotive, automotive manufacturers that recommend it to their customers, especially when it comes to cleaning leather. I got a, a tape line here. I'm just going to clean this area of the seat and then I'm going to pull this tape line off. What I'm using, it happens to be in a Meguiar Super Degreaser bottle, but it's not Super Degreaser, trust me. It's five, it's five to one, five parts water, one part product, Tip right around somewhere six, five and a half ounces to a 32 ounce bottle and the rest is filled with distilled water. What I'm going to reveal to you is so incredibly cheap, so effective, it literally costs cents to be able to make this bottle. It costs nothing, it costs under 50 cents to do this, it's, it's incredibly cheap and it's incredibly safe and effective on coated leather. And that's for about 90-95% of us out there that own cars with leather, on, with leather in them, they're going to be coated, and they're coated in a form of plastic, as hard as that is to, to kind of take and retain, especially because we've paid so much for the leather, but it in fact has a coating on it for about 90-95% to 95 of all of us that might be watching this video. I'm going to clean this area with a very cheap cleaner, and I want to show you how effective it is, then I'm going to re reveal to you what it is. I'm just going to take this cleaner and I'm just going to spray it onto this leather seat. I'm going to take just a toothbrush and go back and forth over this area and clean up this leather seat. This cleaner will be a little bit foamy when you use it, which is kind of nice. It tells you where you've been, where you're going, where you need to go. It's not all that aggressive. It's not aggressive like and a, like an alkaline base cleaner like Super Clean or Meguiar Super Degreaser. It is so incredibly effective on cleaning some really dirty and hammered leather. Let me go ahead and mop up after myself. I'll just take my microfiber towel and clean up. Hopefully the camera is showing how amazing that looks. I have not hurt the leather in any way. The stitching around the leather is completely intact. There's no problem there. And then I'll go ahead and pull up this tape line. Let's see if we can see a good 50-50 across this thing. I think if I just take my towel and just wipe up some of that residue there, you should be able to see the difference between this clean leather here and this dirty leather here. And I'll get you in closer to show you. Let me see if I can turn this camera so I can see. There's the area that I cleaned with the chemical, the cleaner I'm going to tell you about. Then if we move up here, this is where the tape line was, where my finger is, and it starts to get a little shiny, a little glossy. There's actually some gene transfer on there. I don't know if it's showing up in the light, but if I come over here, it looks nice and clean, no issues there. And let me see if I can get over here. We'll start getting put past that tape line, and we'll start seeing how the leather starts to get shiny looking. There's some gene transfer on there. Hopefully it's showing up. I'm also gonna clean that area there. It's gotten pretty hammered once again from me sliding in inside the car, and you can see a lot of gene transfer here. So I'll take my cleaner once again. Let me get this camera positioned right. I'm so sorry, I know it's a little shaky. I'll get you on that side bolster so you can see what I'm doing. 
I'm gonna take some of this very cheap cleaner, but incredibly effective, and I'm gonna spray it on this side bolster. And I'll take my toothbrush again and just lightly go in here and agitate over this leather seat where those, that gene transfer was, the grease and the grime. And I'll kind of clean that up. It doesn't take very long. This cleaner is extremely effective with cleaning leather. And when I tell you what it is, it may shock you. It may surprise you. But it's just a phenomenal cleaner. And one of the reasons why I, I use it, I don't always necessarily, I do a lot of maintenance detailings. Detailings that I'm doing weekly or monthly. I don't necessarily need to use an alkaline base cleaner on leather all the time. So this is a cleaner that I will use on my own vehicles, on cars that I'm well maintaining. The other issue is, is even if the leather was completely trashed or hammered, this will still cut through some really nasty, grimy, you know, dirty leather. It won't be an issue. I'm not really being all that diligent here. I'm just trying to get to the punch and clean up some of that stuff. But let me mop up and then bring you in and have you look at that and you can see how well it's cleaned that leather seat. I'll bring you guys back in. Here's the side bolster one, once again. You can see it's all cleaned up. This is actually damaged right here on the seat. I've actually started to wear through the coating. Unbelievable, right at 2016. That's how delicate some of these coatings are. But if we come up here where I didn't clean, you can see there's still some gene transfer there on the seat. But if we come back down here where I was cleaning, I removed all that grease and grime that was off the side bolster. Looks really nice, looks nice and clean, crisp, soft to the touch. I haven't broken down the coating in any way. There's the other part of the seat there that looks great. Then if we come up here, you'll start to see it gets shiny and glossy in the light here. That's a good indication that it's dirty. Let me set you back up, so sorry for being shaky. This product that I'm using is so incredibly effective at cleaning dirty leather and so incredibly cheap. It won't harm the stitching that is around the, around the leather seat. That doesn't mean I won't use an alkaline base cleaner. If I come across the car that's hammered all the way through it, Yes, it makes sense to have like super clean in my hand, diluted four to one or five to one to do the whole car. But cars that I'm maintaining on a regular basis, like my own, like my customers that I'm doing weekly or monthly, it just makes sense to kind of use a chemical or a cleaner that's not so, I hate to use the word harsh because that's not really the word I'm looking for, but I want something that's just as effective and it's actually a heck of a lot cheaper. What this bottle is, what I have mixed in this bottle, this 32 ounce bottle, which is about five to one, five parts water, one part product, and it's five parts, of the five parts water is, 30, is the uh, distilled water. What it is, folks, and what it is recommended by Cadillac, Lexus, BMW, Mercedes, Bentley, in fact, they got a little bit of a issue when they started to recommend it to their customers. What this stuff is, is Woolite. This doesn't happen to be name brand. This happens to just be wool wash. I buy this at the dollar store. It's 42 ounces. It's made by a company called The Home Store. I've been using Woolite on leather and on fabric for years. I tend to use it on cars that are well maintained. Not that it can't cut through heavy grease and grime, but if I've got a lot of grease and grime on leather seats, no doubt the rest of the car is also dirty too, plus the carpet, so it makes sense just to have an alkaline base cleaner like Super Clean with me. But if I'm working on a car or I'm maintaining a vehicle, this is why Cadillac and Lexus started telling their customers, one of the issues that their customers were having where they were going to Cadillac saying, hey, these over-the-counter pH balanced, pH neutral cleaners aren't cleaning our leather good enough, or well enough. Well, Cadillac, Lexus, Mercedes, Bentley started telling their customers to mix up some Woolite. This happens to be a, a, a non-name brand, but this one is incredibly effective. Don't overthink it, Woolite's fine as well. I will recommend you buy the original Woolite. Don't buy the one that's for the front loaders, the HE type of Woolite. There's a different chemical in that. It doesn't work as well. So get the name brand, the original brand for regular top loading washers. This is incredibly effective on leather. But Cadillac 
and Lexus in, in particular really needed to find something to give to their customers to tell them how to clean leather because they already knew most of their leather seats in their cars had a coating on it. They started recommending to their customers to use Woolite uh, diluted in a bottle with water to be able to clean nasty, dirty leather because your typical cleaners on a retail level for leather that are pH balanced or pH neutral just weren't cutting it. They weren't get able to get through the grease and grime. So they started telling their customers to use Woolite diluted in a bottle. And Woolite actually got a little upset with that. They actually went to uh, Cadillac, they went to Lexus, they went to a couple of these different companies and said, wait a minute, don't recommend that to your customers. The only reason why Woolite had an issue with it is because they're not in the leather company. They're not in the leather cleaning company. They didn't realize that that leather actually had a plastic coating on it. And once they kind of gotten that information from Cadillac and Lexus, they kind of were fine with it. They just got a little worried that Cadillac and other car manufacturers were recommending this to their customers because Woolite was like, wait a minute, we don't want liability. It is an incredibly effective, safe cleaner. Not a lot of people would think about using Woolite mixed with water and a 32 ounce bottle to clean leather, but holy crap, guys, it is so incredibly effective. It's incredibly safe. If you've ever cleaned leather, you'll know sometimes when you're cleaning it with an alkaline-based cleaner, if you get some runs and drips, that can be awfully noticeable. This stuff, you'll notice it far less. Yes, it can leave a little bit of a drip mark, but it won't be as bad as a really strong alkaline cleaner. This is why Woolite is really, really great on leather. I've been using it for years. I don't always use an alkaline-based cleaner, although this is alkaline. It's got some sodiums in it. It's got some salt cleaners in it, but it's so incredibly gentle, yet incredibly effective through cutting, gre cutting through grease and grime. I just wanted to share that with you. This bottle cost me a dollar for 42 ounces. I only need about four or five ounces per 32-ounce bottle I make. I don't know. I, I can't even do the math in my head. It's so incredibly cheap and so effective on leather. I wanted to start talking about tips, tricks, other products you can get to clean leather. Some people worry about a really strong alkaline cleaner starting to cut through or eat away at the stitching on the leather. Well, guess what? Woolite is made for fabric. It's far more gentle on the stitching. If you've got a leather seat with a lot of stitching on it, like this one does, some people get worried about using an alkaline-based cleaner. It will start to eat away at that stitching. I've never really seen that in my world, but I guess it could happen. I'm not saying it doesn't. But hey, take it out of the equation. Use a product that was meant for certain types of fabrics. We're using it in our washing machines for our whites and stuff like that. Certain types of fabrics, delicates, it really incredibly great on leather. It's just, it's just phenomenal and I've been using it for years and I love it. And I'll just go in here and keep cleaning this, le this leather seat and I'll use my silly little toothbrush to kind of agitate back and forth and I'll show you how effective this is, how safe it is. I, I love it. I use it all the time, especially because I'm maintaining cars weekly or monthly for some of my customers. I don't necessarily want to use an alkaline-based cleaner that has like a, a little bit of an alkaline scent to it. This is far more gentle, yet as effective. It also smells great. It leaves a nice fresh scent. If I was cleaning a customer's car once a week or once a month, always using an alkaline-based cleaner, not that I'm worried about it breaking down material inside the car, the customer may not like that smell all the time inside their car. But I am not getting rid of my alkaline based cleaners like Super Clean or Super Degrees. So they're so effective on some really hammered stuff. But I just wanted to share with you how silly is it? Wool light. I mix it again five to one. Everybody asks me, I say it all the time in my videos, then they'll ask me what the dilution is. Five to one, five parts water, one part product in a 32 ounce bottle. So incredibly in fact effective on dirty leather, cleaning leather, keeping it safe. Don't have to worry about the stitching. I just wanted to share it with you. It is incredible also on upholstery, like fabric upholstery in cars. It costs you pennies to make a 32 ounce bottle of this stuff. And it's so incredibly soft and gentle on leather and it works great. I love you all. I appreciate it. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Until next time, be safe.